Hey everybody, it's 13th Wolfman. You know, today's today is day 28 of the 31 Days of Horror. That's right, 31 movies, 31 days, 31 reviews and videos, hopefully 31 comments. I'm not the only one doing this, there are others doing it. There is, uh, I am the Ice Lord, Random Horror, Retro Horror, who else? Uh, Echo, King Gore, Have Cheetah, Will View, um, Double Shot J, Mood 616, and of course, Jennifer Toshi. I mean, these are people that are doing it. Check them out. See what you think. If you like it, watch it. If you don't, find someone else doing something else. I mean... And before we, another thing is, is uh, always like, subscribe, share, and comment. So what's today's movie? Today's movie is another Romero film. Another less talked about Romero film, and that is Diary of the Dead. Now this one comes off a little bit confusing, because, I mean, it's Romero. He's adding to his, I guess you would say anthology, or overall franchise of the Dead movies. This one took place, I mean, it's 2007, I think, when this movie comes out. But, I mean, this in this movie, they're acting like the breakout has just happened. And the breakout happened in 1968. But when you look at the movies that came out, Dawn, Dawn Night and Day, they're so well made that... They could take place at any time. In, in in any time. I mean, there's not a lot of fashion that says, hey, it's the 70s. And there's not a lot of, you know, there's not a lot of technology in day that says, hey, it's the 80s. They do have the headphones and the, and the old style tape recorder. But that could just be because it's a military facility. You know, so... If you watch this, along with those other movies, then this could take place like right right during that same time, just in a different area of the world. But in this one, we have tech that tell us that it's more modern. We have laptops, we have cell phones, we have flip we have we have um, flip cameras, and we have we have smaller video cameras. So while these friends are, while these college friends are out making a horror movie, the breakout is happening, and they hear it on the radio, you know. So many people have died and have come back to life, you know, and they're like, okay, well, some are like, well, I'm going to go to my parents' house, others are like, one guy's like, I'm going to go to to this big old mansion, um... You know, that's where my parents are. Uh, that's where my parents live, but they're not home. They're in... I don't remember where that... I think he said they were in Barbados. But he's going to go there, and he's going to have a good time. He's taking his girlfriend with him. And they all... He gets in his car, takes off. And then a few minutes later, the rest of them get into an RV. And they want to see how their family's doing. And it's supposed to all take place in in Pennsylvania. Because they all go to University of Pittsburgh. And so they're like, oh, we, I need to stop by Harrisburg. And I need to, you know, all these places. And um, along the way, they meet, they meet other people trying to survive. And they also see the breakout happening. It's a really, really good film. Um, it's, a, it's George Romero always had a subtext when it came to his to his dead movies. I said it the other day. Uh, Night of the Living Dead was about the race wa race riots in Watts. Dawn was about consumerism. Day was about the military establishment. Land was about the war between the working class and the rich. And this is George's take on the media. The news media, to be, to be precise, you know. Um, when stuff like Columbine and and uh, Sandy Hook and all that stuff happens, they're always focusing on, I mean, yes, it's, they're focusing on 
the wrong thing. And that's what George is trying to tell us in this in this movie. Is like, yes, there are killers, but we need to focus on the families. You know, I mean, there we need to focus on what's happening to the families around them and they're they're spending you know 36 and 48 and 72 hours talking about the killer and making the killer famous and that's not what should be happening they shouldn't even be, they shouldn't even be mentioning their names and that's that's Romero's take on this and you can really tell if you watch the movie that that's what he's trying to get at this uh this is really cool because half the time you're watching the movie through the lens because one guy's got a camera strapped to him basically the entire time because he wants to document everything. That's why it's called Diary of the Dead. He wants to make a living diary of what happened and what's going on. And uh, so half the time we're watching through his eye and seeing what's happening. And the other time it's just a regular movie where we're watching it unfold as it is you know and so this is Romero doing found footage and I think Romero did a did a pretty good job I'm not the biggest found footage fan I think uh, I think sometimes it goes it goes on the cheap you know it's like hey I can't do this but I can make a found footage film you know it's like okay you know but uh, yeah, I I liked it. I think it was probably one of the best uh, ideas to do for the 31 days. And um, the special effects are great in this. I'm trying to think. There's really no one, no one in this that. Uh, yeah, there's really no one in this. Romero makes George Romero makes a um, a cameo as a sheriff. Or some kind of police chief on TV. And Greg Nicotero, the special effects artist, makes a cameo as the zombie surgeon. And I think on the radio you hear people talking from time to time. And if I remember right, one of them is Tarantino. Other than that, not a lot more to say about that. Just check it out when you get a chance. If you haven't checked it out, I mean, if you have checked it out and you didn't really care for it, go back and give it a second shot. Because you never know, you might like it again. That happens to me a lot. Sometimes I'll watch a movie and I'll be good. I just know I wasn't in the mood to watch something like that. And then I'll go back and watch it again and be like, oh, okay. It just was, I was not in the mood or something, so. Well, that's me. That's that's the 28th day to the 31 days of horror. Uh, Diary of the Dead. As always... I am the 13th Wolfman, and I'm on the prowl.